Hey gang, well, you asked for it, you got it. Um, we're gonna do the last two solos in Spooky. Now I know there's a couple of versions out there. This is <laughs> whatever version it was that I just did. I don't know whether it's the album version or the single version or the compiled version or whatever, but it's the last two solos on the same version I did before. So uh, here we go. These are a little bit, uh, the second solo uh, is a little bit trickier. And then the third solo is basically octaves, and he does some harmonizer stuff on there, so it's pretty cool. All right, so here we go, note for note. Hey, again, as always, if you like it, click the like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and you'll get one of these every week. Okay, see you in just a sec to go over this note for note. Bye. All right, gang. Well, we're gonna go over this note for note. Now, I have the tab in the, no in the description below, and it's my best attempt at lifting it, uh, doing the transcription from the album. So, uh, you know, take it for face value. It's my best attempt. Okay, don't claim that I totally nailed it. All right, well, we're going to go over that note for note. Uh, to give you a little context, it's over two chords, an F minor 7th and a B flat uh, 13th. Or B flat 6, basically the same chord. So those two chords are diatonic to C minor, and so we're going to play a C minor scale to fit that. In fact, the last chordal hit is a C minor 7th, so it kind of makes sense. Another way of thinking of it is an E flat major. Those are both the same. Same scale. All right, so here we go. We're going to learn... Uh, let's do the second solo first, which is the first solo I did in the video. I know it's confusing. Second solo on the album, okay? So let's do that one first. And it's going to start on the fourth string, sixth fret, right here. Let's play the first chunk. <clears throat> So uh, you've got the, the tab in front of you, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but you want to be palm muting on some of those lower strings um, um, so you get that. And uh, one real tricky part is this part right here. So you want to bend up a whole step on that 11th fret 2nd string and pull off and play the 10th fret on the 3rd. 
back to the 11th, and then you'll play um, the 8th on the 1st string, ninth on the 2nd, so like this. That's kind of hard to pull off. Um, because uh, to do the whole thing, like the pull off and hit on the ninth on or the tenth on the third, that's kind of tough to then hit this eighth. You have to be pretty quick about it. An easier way to play that is simply to omit the third string tenth fret and play this, and it sounds about the same. So instead of pulling off and playing the tenth, you just play this. That works just fine. Okay, so that's the first chunk. Alright, here's the second chunk. Alright, so let's take a little bit of time to explain some of that it starts with outlining an E. I'm sorry, an F minor chord, starting with this. All right. All right. Then you're going to play this eleventh, and you'll you'll bend it up a whole step and kind of pinch it off, and then play the ninth on the second. And you want to try and get a pinch harmonic if you can. And now I can't. There we go. Uh, get a pinch harmonic. There's tons of pinch harmonics in this in this song. Uh, I don't know how many were intended, but clearly he intended a lot of them. So that's the second one. All right. Now this is an interesting thing, and I'm not sure I nailed this, but here I'm playing a double stop. Um, this double stop right here, second string, ninth fret, first string, eighth fret, and then uh, play the eighth on the third and tenth on the third. A little bit of a bend on the fourth. And pull off and play the tenth, the uh, the the eighth on the fifth. And now you gotta <clears throat> you gotta really move up. Um, so you first is to slide up to the eighth and then play the the sixth. So that's on the fifth to the fourth. Now you're gonna play another one on the fourth to the third. So you slide up to the tenth and then play the eighth. Tenth on the fourth, eighth on the third. So again, it's these two. Then all the way up, you'll slide on the fourth to the on the fourth string to the fifteenth and play the thirteenth on the third. So that whole sequence is like this. Oh, let's play that a little better, Mark. Alright, so play that very deliberately, look at the tab, and I think you'll get it. It's 8-6, eight, 8-6 six, eight, six on the 5th, 10-8 <clears throat> the 4th, and 15-13 on the 4th and 3rd. There we go. Okay, now we're going to play this. So that's a pretty standard bend. You're bending up on the 15th on the 3rd string, and then you're going to play the 13th on the 1st string. The next one's pretty cool. It's this right here. So this kind of reminds me of how Carlton would play, Larry Carlton. So we're going to bend up. Uh, first, it starts out with sort of typical blues lick. We're playing on the second string, 16th, out of the pentatonic position, the, uh, the F minor pentatonic position, so standard blues box position. All right, and so we're going to bend up on that 16 and bring it down and pull it off to the 13th. And then we'll quickly play the 15th on the third string. And then we're, we're going to cap it off with a bend playing on your first finger. Now this is a tough bend because you've got to do it with your first finger. You've got no other finger support, so it's a tough bend. Bend up a whole step with that on the 13th to the 15th and bring it down. So it's like the whole thing is like this. All right. Tough one to do. All right. So that's the that's a whole second chunk. So I think it goes like this.
Here's the next part. <clears throat> and this isn't tricky, but the timing is tricky. Um, so it starts out by just a simple, here, well, I'll just play, here's the next part. We'll do the whole chunk. <laughs> Etc. Okay, we'll we'll come out of that last part again uh, uh, later. But basically, <clears throat> it's one lick you got to learn, but you got to do it a bunch of times. And the danger is, of course, you get bored in the middle uh, trying to play it, and you got to play it quickly too. So it's tough. If you mess up once, it's it's all over. So you got to get it right. So here it is. Starts out with a simple one. We're going to be playing out of this blues boxy position uh, in in, in uh, C minor. Uh, right up here on the 13th fret. So we'll do it on the 4th string. We're going to play 13, 15, and then 13 on the on the 3rd, back to the 15 on the 4th. Alright, and that's the opening salvo to where you're going to go on all this. Now you're going to play the following lick over and over and over, 13 times in fact. I'll play it again very slowly and try and get my hand out of the way. Okay, over and over. All right, so you play it <clears throat> uh, and play it very slowly at first until you get it. And uh, basically, you're playing on the second string, 13th fret. On the third string, you're going to play 16, 15, 13, and then 15 on the fourth. And then you'll skip the string and go back up to the 13th on the first. And you do that over and over. Etc. <laughs> and drive yourself batty doing that. Okay. So you do that about 13 times. And the last time, you come out of it by playing this. don't play that last 15th note. Alright, so here's the, the last part, or the next chunk. Okay, so um, the last time you come through this, you play... So you'll play um, just omitting that last fourth string fifteenth, and then you'll play a pull off from the sixteen, fifteen, and thirteen. So it's like this. Okay. So that note right there is a double stop where you're playing the sixteenth on the second. 13, uh, sorry, 15th on the 3rd, and you're bending up the 15th a whole step to play that uh, twice. And third time you're playing it and pulling it off to the 13th and playing the 15th on the 14th, on the 4th string. Okay, then you'll play a double stop here. It sounds very Angus Young in this one. So that's a uh, double stop at the 13th, uh, second and third strings, you're playing 13th on both, of, on both of those, and then the 15th on the 4th. Okay, so then we'll play this, so that's just simply on the 5th string, you're playing the 15th, 13th on the 4th. And then you're playing 15th, sliding down to 13th, and playing the 11th. Alright, so that's what that is. Here's that whole piece again. I'll play the, um, how you get out of it. One more time. Here is 
the next chunk. Alright, one more time, kind of slowly. I don't think there's anything tricky there. Hard part is to shift down to here to make that easier bend. Alright, here's the next chunk. The hard part on that one is pretty simple, is uh, as you're doing this, this is almost identical lick as before, but it, the hard part is to, is uh, playing that. That's a full bend again on the 13th with your first finger. Mm-hmm, okay. Alright, so here's the last, uh, one of the last chunks. So what you're going to do here is you're going to pull up on the 15th on the 3rd fret, a whole step, and then this is during that break where there's no chord, and you're just going to kind of anemically bring it slowly, slowly down until you get to the 15th, all right? So you, you bring it up a whole step and just slowly down. And then you play a 13th on that. Okay, and then finally uh, on the, the bends there, you're going to play the, tw the 15th on the second string and bend up just a half step. Second time you want to give it vibrato. Alright, here's the last piece. So that starts out, you're going to start out on the 10th on the 4th string, play the 10th, 11th, 12th, and then here's these double stops. So you're playing the 15th, 15th on the 2nd and 3rd strings, 13th, 13th on the 2nd and 3rd strings, so it sounds like this, and then you're going to play the um, <clears throat> Uh, 15th and 13th on the 4th string. And then do your same double stops there again. End up with the... So again, that's the 15th, 13th, 15th. And then I play up here because I have a better chance, I find, of getting that pick harmonic than I do up here. It's the same note. 15th on the 4th is the same as the 10th on the 3rd. Same note. Yeah, but I get a better chance of getting a pick harmonic on the 10th, which is a, what I want. Slide up. I do the slide on the bomb string. And then finally, this little trill here, 13th and 16th on the 2nd. And hit the 18th. And that's it for that whole first part of the solo. Let's play the whole thing slowly so you get it before we go on to the next part.
is the first part. Now let's go on to the second part. Whew! Okay, here's the last part. And uh, if the second part was characterized by real fast and fiery playing, the last part is definitely characterized by cool, jazzy sort of playing and neat little unisons in there too, which we're going to simulate by, or I'm going to simulate by using a harmonizer. If you have a buddy to play it, you can play it in thirds and that sounds great. Anyway, um, I've got it cleaned up. I'm playing the guitar cleaned up a little bit. I've got it on the neck pickup. I've rolled the volume off a lot um, to be able to get a cleaner sound. Uh, all right, so uh, let's start out. Here's the first chunk, and this is in octaves, so you remember how to play octaves. Uh, you're playing a top note, and a bottom note is an octave below, and that's usually a two strings away, or one. you have to skip a string in between there. So the first one is on the 11th on the second string, and the eighth on the fourth string, like so. Okay, so we're going to go 11th. Well, I'll just play it. One more time, here it is very slowly. Oh God. Remember when you go to the octave that's on the third string and the fifth string, it's only gonna be separated by two frets instead of the third. That's it, so when we come down here, we're playing 10 on the third, and eight on the fifth. Okay, here's the second line, and I'm going to play it with a with a harmonizer. All right, so um, <clears throat> let me take off the harmonizer a little bit, and I'll play it again. So what the harmonizer does, and I've got that set on D sharp, the harmonizer on D sharp, which remember is the same as E flat. Um, and I've got it a third up. So uh, if you harmonize a third up, that's gonna work. So if you're playing, if you're playing with a buddy, you play this note, and the buddy is gonna play uh, two notes above that in the scale of D sharp or E flat uh, major. So he would play this. All right, but clicking on the harmonizer allows me to do it pretty easy. Okay, <clears throat> that's the second line. Here's the third line. So it's basically identical to the first line with, uh, you know, uh, really minor minor differences. So just play the first line again, that'll work. All right, here's the next part. Oh, let's try that again. Here's the, here's the next part. Okay, so this is just, take off the harmonizer again. Um, so again, this is a harmonized line, but we're gonna slide up to the 10th on the third string. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so here's the next part. All right. So the next chunk uh, is like this. Let's, let's take off the harmonizer for a second. It is a harmonized line, same harmonization. So you'll slide up uh, to the fourth, uh, I'm sorry, fourth string, 10th fret to start out. That's it for that harmonized part. Again, let me play that whole thing uh, so you get it. 
And I'll play it with the harmonizer on again. it you can follow along on the tab and just play the regular tab if you, it sounds fine without harmonizing it too sounds good without the harmonizer all right now here's the end part the end part you got to flip back I flip back to my bridge pickup, which is on full blast again. So I want all the distortion back on, or all the gain back on. And basically it's this. I, I, you got to turn off the harmonizer for this. Okay, so that is simply this bend right here. You're going to play... On the third string, you're going to play the tenth. On the fourth, on the second string, you're going to play the eleventh, and you're going to bend up a whole step on the tenth, like so. Last time, you're going to bring it down and play the eighth on the third. You do that twice. Then you do the same thing on the on the fifteenth and on the third, and sixteenth on the second. come back and do it again on the 10th and 11th. And it end by hanging on this 10th uh, bent up with the 11th. Okay, that's it, gang. Well, this was a long one. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on down the road.